Welcome back. Well, in this video, you'll see my interpretation of a clamp build. So I'm making some some sash clamps for for making tabletops and things like that. And and I needed a set, and it sort of lends to the question: why why make a set of clamps? Well, you know, you can go down to the store and, and buy clamps, and I'm sure they're they're fairly readily available, and and these days they're not really expensive. So but I'm, I'm a maker and every time I see something, I think, well, can I make that? And it's part of what I am. I, it's, it's part of my inquiring nature. Um, but also that, you know, the journey of being a maker is to, is to learn new skills. You know, we're not all born with all the skills and we just have a, a curiosity about us that says, well, how do I do that? You know, and in this particular build, it's, it's uh, TIG welding, which I'm still learning, and I don't think I've mastered it yet, but you have to keep practicing. You have to develop those hand-eye coordination skills. Um, and you, you know what, you can't learn it all from a textbook, from theory, sure that helps, but at the end of the day, you have to, you have to apply your practical experience. You have to learn by doing. And it's same too with the lathe. Um, now that I'm lucky enough to have a lathe, I, I'm using the lathe, uh, I'm learning you know my limitations but I'm trying to push my limitations to to build upon my experience so and that's why I've chosen those two tools to to build these clamps with and sure you can you don't have to have a lathe or you don't have to have a MIG welder or a TIG welder and you can use a stick welder you can use nuts you can go out and buy nuts and bolts and threaded rod you don't even have to use steel you can use timber there's plenty of videos on the internet that show how to make clamps using other materials such as such as wood and, and there's nothing wrong with those clamps they're doing a job at the end of the day it, it turns into a humble tool that's there waiting for you when you need to when you need to use it but in essence I'm doing it because I love to make things um, it's a joy when you when you when you're putting something together you're problem solving you're using materials you're using hand-eye coordination and you're building something up from from nothing and that's really part of part of the legacy that I'd like to leave is when I finish my my life is to have left uh, items in this world that will last um, a long time many lifetimes because the materials are you know quality materials and the workmanship is is something that will last and be appreciated for many years to come
hope you enjoyed the video and, and I'd really appreciate it if you did get something out of this video if you liked it hit that thumbs up button that would be brilliant I'd really appreciate that um, and if you haven't already subscribed I'd appreciate that too thank you very much for your support and I hope to see you next time bye for now